My name is James Dean. I, I am an adult film performer and a mainstream crossover blah 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 blah. Uh, I don't know how I'm actually categorized in the media uh, other than a dude who um, people kind of, I don't know, I do things. I do a lot of things uh, on, on, on camera and off camera. Uh, for Cowboys and Engines, I will be producing. I'm one of the producers for this. I am very excited for this opportunity as I uh, actually, as much as I love acting and as fun as it's to be in front of the camera, my true love is actually getting the entire project together and making it happen, which as uh, anyone in the in film industry knows, uh, production producer is the only job in the world that that's the description is, I just make things happen. It's just what I do, I just get it done, I make it happen. And uh, I really like making it happen. I like, you know, uh, figuring out, you know, how to crunch numbers, how to save money, how to, you know, um, you know where to shoot, when to shoot, how to do, or, you know, or shot orders, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, how to basically make the whole piece come to life is what I really, truly enjoy. So um, I have lots of experience producing many, many, many uh, large and small uh, adult films. Uh, some films, actually, I just wrapped The Canyons, uh, which is written by Brady Snell, it's directed by Paul Schrader, uh, uh, starring me and Lindsay Lohan. And uh, the budget on uh, that movie was actually smaller than one of the movies I've produced. So I have, I have experience producing, uh, <laughs> producing uh, some decent-sized movies. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on this. I, I think it'll be a very fun experience. I suck at this. <laughs> Cowboys and Engines, I would describe as a sci-fi western. It's extremely action-packed and full of exciting adventure at every turn. And it's done that way because it's a short. And so there's, there's no downtime. It's nothing but the good stuff, which is awesome. <laughs> you know, it's all the, it's like, okay, so we got a movie, we're going to take out all the boring parts and just put in the good stuff. <laughs> so the script is, is, uh, is, is, is written uh, in ways to just, you know, let the mind explore the full uh, capacity of the plot. And it, there's just, it's full of great stuff. Um, the way, uh, the best way to describe it is it's, uh, it's, it's old Western with a steampunk twist um, added with a whole bunch of, uh, you know, sci-fi adventure, you know, action party. <laughs> Adjectives. <laughs> I should never be let speak to be speak. Yeah, public yeah. speaking, bad. <laughs> My favorite character in the script is probably Guinevere. Um, I, you know, strong women being sexy aside and stuff like that and you know her being just a general badass um i uh I, you know i i really like the fact that you know obviously if i was in this movie like whenever i look at a script i think of it as an actor and i think of you know as an actor what characters would i play how would i do it what would i like and stuff like that <laughs> i can say it i promise wait until i try to say tequila Ooh. I focused really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't be able to play Guinevere because, you know, I have a penis. But, <laughs> you know, because I'm a man or a boy, a male. <laughs> um, <laughs> a man, boy, male. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't be able to uh, play Guinevere because I'm a male, but uh, from reading the script, that is the character that I found the most interesting and the most, the most exciting as an actor to really create. You can really do a lot of layers. There's a lot of backstory. There's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of you know, self-creation. There's a lot of personal interpretation in addition to you know, what I uh, am well aware of that our uh, writer and director has uh, written, you know, put in there. Um, so there's just a whole lot of fun that can be had with that character. And she really is, um, she really is the best in the entire, in the entire movie. I think Kickstarter is this new, it's this new way of doing, f making films. Um, the, the, 
idea behind the canyons uh, was this whole, you know, throwing out old Hollywood and Brad Easton Ellis's, you know, um, you know, post empire, you know, philosophy and him and Braxton Pope and you know, working on this in this new this new form. And I really, I really personally embrace that. I think that there's no reason why you can't make filmmaking a more interactive experience why you know the people can't be involved it's not just you know here's a, you know michael bay you know is here's some crap go watch it explosions boom you know stuff like that and you know it's it, you know there's no it's great if you want to just you know turn your brain off you know two hours but if you want to actually be involved in something that you care about and something you know artistic you know and and and, and real if you will um kickstarter allows the community of of filmmakers and film buffs to really get involved. Uh, so anyone from fans of Koenig to, you know, just some who just wants to be like, oh yeah, I want to see him do something, you know, this looks cool, to a, uh, you know, complete movie buff that just is really into the idea of sci-fi action, you know, old, old western steampunk party adventure experience. So, you know, like, <laughs> adjectives. <laughs> so, you know, so it really gives the full range of the community access to be involved in making a movie and it then doesn't turn into our movie it turns into everyone's movie and it gives you know the world really a chance to come together and make something cool and also because i don't have 150 grand to put up for this <laughs> or i would <laughs> We're asking for a hundred thousand. I'm hoping personally to get more because, as the producer, I you know there's no such thing as enough money. We anything and if you if we raised a million dollars, we would need a million and a half. I, every single thing it would just be added to the project to make it better and better and better. I actually know people that were the, you know have had raised over a million dollars for music videos, and then we're asking people to do it for hugs and beer. It, I think that's asinine. If you have that much money, you put it into your project and make the best project you can. $100,000, we figured, this is honestly the philosophy to be 100% transparent. Um, we could do it cheaper, but it won't be as good. And if we can't raise that, then we probably shouldn't be doing it because that means that the community and the public isn't, isn't as interested as, as we are. And um, it really is um, to be done right you're gonna to have to do a lot of post work. I mean, if you you know take a look at the script, you'll see. I mean, more than 50% of it is is it's not real. <laughs> so you, you're gonna to have to uh, have a lot of post work in there, and uh, post work's expensive, especially if you want to make it look good. I personally think that 100,000 is asking for too little, and the more we have, the better we can make it. But 100,000, I personally think, is the bare minimum for us to really do this correctly do it 100% correctly with the names attached that we want attached and you know have the post work that we want to uh, incorporate into it and you know take the time I mean money really just buys more time and the more time you put into something the better it can be the hardest part I think will be the desert working out in the elements in the desert we uh, so we have a good amount of, uh, of this movie that we're gonna go out to uh, Nevada and shoot out in the desert an undisclosed location uh, and uh, and if you know whenever you're outdoors with wind blowing and you know it's hot the sun's up you know you're fighting daylight all sorts of things like that you know it always uh, adds a added twist to the project but if um, like I said if we raise the correct amount of money we buy more time that's just an extra that means we don't have to do it wrong we can do it right out out in the desert success for this movie is making it and shopping around to festivals, putting it out, distributing it to all the people that are involved in the Kickstarter and having every single person that is involved look at it and say, we did a good job, we made something awesome. If we make money, if we you know, get you know, attention and people look at it, that's awesome, that's fantastic. But I personally will feel successful if every single person involved and from the Kickstarter people that give a dollar to the executive producers, um, to you know, the director, to myself, to every single person, the actors, everyone, um, looks at it, is proud of what we've done and you know, happy to be involved. That's success for me. Oh, what does this movie mean to me? <laughs> I, don't, I just want to do it for fun. <laughs> I mean, this movie to me is just a, an opportunity to make something. I like making things, like, you know, from 
you know, back when I was a kid with my dad, we'd build, you know, tree houses or tables or whatever, you know, I like making things and I like, you know, creating a physical product. And, you know, as a performer, I'm able to be involved in making things as a producer, I'm able to actually put some, get my hands dirty and get, and, you know, bring it to life. Um, that's why when I had the opportunity to produce this, I jumped it, you know, I was like, I was actually offered the opportunity to act in it. And I, I was like, well, what are the, what are the other things? And it's good because once the script was written, we realized there was no place for me to act in it. <laughs> I don't fit any of the characters except for maybe, uh, Guinevere. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we, uh, so I, I, I got, I jumped at the opportunity to sign on to produce because I love the idea of creating things and creating things that I believe in and creating things that I can stand behind. And as a producer, I really feel I'll be able to make it come to life and, you know, raise it like my own little child, my, lo my little love child of cinema.